Yeah. Weezy, yeah. Back home smoking legal. legal. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Beatles. Foreign shit running on diesel, dog. Playing with my name, that shit is lethal, dog. Who you see? What? Don Corleone. Trust me, at the top, it isn't lonely. Everybody acting like they know me, dog. Don't just say it now, you gotta show me what you gotta do. Bring the clip back empty. You asked to see the ball, so they sent me, dog. I just broke off with a 10 piece, dog. There ain't nothing, I'm just being friendly, dog. It's just a little 10 piece for it, just to blow it in the mouth. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Kai and I'm back with another video and this video is probably my most requested video, probably next to a jump shot video and this is my, you know, the creation on and how I made my, my sharpshooter, 6-7 sharpshooter, I'm, I'm going to show you how exactly I made them, a lot of y'all been asking, you know, been messing me on Twitter, DMing me, y'all been asking for that and a jump shot and a jump shot video is coming soon, you know, but this video, this is just for the build that y'all been asking for, I just decided to make the video instead of just, you know, Replying to everybody on Twitter, that would have took too much time. So I decided just to make the video for y'all, so y'all can look exactly at how I made my build. You know, no confusion or anything. I'm gonna give y'all everything on how I made my build. So I made a shooting guard. You got to be a shooting guard to be six seven. Hand this is a preference, but you know, if y'all want to copy my exact build, it's left handed. Number preference, but just put number seven. I think that's the one I'm gonna play with. All right, so you want to look for the sharp pie chart. The sharp pie chart is the one that's mainly green. You get a 95 three, 95 free throw. You know, you'll see it. It's the, it's highlighted on the shooting. Like that's the sharp pie chart. Now you want to choose the for the physical profile. You want to choose the first pie chart. This one gives you the most speed, and you know everything else is not really as important as speed. So you're gonna need, you know, you get a when you max out this build, you get an 82 speed. My speed right now with this build is an 82. So this is you know with this pie chart is probably the most important now you want to max out your driving dunk and you got to max out your driving layup now you, everything else you're not really going to need because you're a sharpshooter you can green every three shoot over people and you know you're not going to need to you know just take standing dunks post hooks or close shots if you go to the paint it's either going to be a driving layup or a driving dunk you're not going to need anything else so you only get one one badge for that for finishing you want to max out everything on 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 the shooting category because you want the most shooting badge you can get for playmaking, you want to max out pass accuracy and ball handling, and you get 10 badges for this. Now, there's not a lot of, for a sharp, there's not a lot of good playmaking badges you can get. You can't really get dime or anything, so there's not really like, not really a lot of good playmaking badges you can get. So you just want to leave that, you know, at 10. 10 should be good enough. You don't want to upgrade, so you don't need, yeah, you don't need 15 playmaking badges. There's not, I have basically, right now I have on three, and you know, I think that's all I need right now. Now, I upgraded my defense because i you know i play pro on this build and you know defense is important so i play i play defense up i put defense up and i get i believe i put up oh max out steals and i max i put up i think yeah put this up to 50. 45 my fault and so this is my exact build this is exactly how i made it now if you know you can just look at this right now but if you want to play differently you don't and, and blocks let me see and put up playmaking get more playmaking badges then you could probably put this on like finishing and see if you got a finishing badge oh no you still don't so it's pointless There's no point of putting anything on finishing you still might get a, a finishing badge and even with a sharp finishing badges aren't really important so there's really no point so i'm gonna max out what else i put up oh all right steals blocks actually I think this is how I had it all right yeah, this is how I had it so you want to you know this is how you want to do it now the body shape is basically preference my player is defined and now the height is you know where my sharp come different everybody else is usually six six or six five I haven't seen the six seven sharp yet and uh you know everybody's six five or six six but i decided to make my player you know i usually like using taller players because they you know they're better at defense and they're better at everything so i decided to make a taller player and he turned out to be a glitch he can shoot over people basically so my, my sharp is lowest weight and the wingspan is where you know people probably want to know what wingspan i did and i didn't go lowest wingspan. even if you want to go you know i put 
this is the wingspan I put. I put one up from default, so the 84.7. And like I said, I'm a program player. I use I use this build for pro am and stage. So wingspan and defense, you know, is really important. That's why I got my defense up and my my wingspan up. You know, one up from default. So I get a when I hit 99. I made this build this way because I knew I was gonna hit 99. And when I hit 99, my my three pointer went from a 92 to a 96. Now that's basically you know the lowest wingspan three pointer. Like that's basically it, just with having longer arms. So I have a 96 three pointer on this build right now, and all my other actors are, are up plus four. So that's why I made this wingspan. But if you you know you're just a, a state a stage or a park player, or you know you just wanna you know don't wanna really wanna play defense, you wanna be like offensive threat, you know be the best offensive you can be, best on offense you can be. Just you know you can put the lowest wingspan, and if you plan on hitting 99. You can you know, put lowest wingspan. I end up having a 99 three instead of my 96 three. But showing you on my build, I went one up from wingspan, one up from default with 84.7. Now the two takeovers. I seen other sharps have shot creator takeover. I didn't have the option. I think shot creator is probably the best in the game for sharps. The spot up shooter one. It's starting to grow on me, but it's still not that good. I can hit heavilies like almost heavilies with this shot with this uh, with this badge, but. I still think the shot creator one is better, but between the playmaking and sharp, you're a sharpshooter. You don't need playmaking. Although, if you get this, if you get this playmaking badge, you can most likely speed boost when you activate it. But other than that, it'll be pointless. So I went with the spot up shooter badge, and you know I got the name sharpshooter facilitator. This is the name you see on my build. Now I'm gonna show you my badges too. You know, but the best shooting badge in the game, the best defensive badges that I have on my player, and you know the best playmaking badges that you can get with ten. So I'm going to go to test build and show you everything, how I made them. And I'm just leave them at a 60 overall because there's no point in me putting them up for just to show you our badges. So these are the best shooting badges right here. I'm going to max out quick draw Hall of Fame. This is probably the, you need this badge. Like if you're a sharp, you need this on Hall of Fame. Unless you're using jump shot, th jump shot 38, you need this, this uh, badge on Hall of Fame. Now green machine and hot zone hunter are probably the most important badges. Nobody really thought these badges would be as important as they are but i put those badges on and i literally greened i literally started green in every shot but you put green machine on hot zone hunter hall of fame you want to put catch and shoot and dead eye hall of fame and now i put my tireless score on silver and my difficult shots on hall of fame fading in this game you know difficult shots is with doing fadeaways fading in this game is probably the best it's ever been you green every single fadeaway so you need difficult shots on silver now for playmaking badges, I have gold quick first step. I don't have all of my playmaking badges, but when I do get them, I'm gonna put gold space creator, if y'all was wondering, and probably silver unpluckable, and probably silver bailout. Actually, no, 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 silver handle for days. So you know you lose less energy. Now for the eight defensive badges, you're gonna you're gonna need pick dodger. You know you can put this on on gold. I have interceptor on gold already. And you want to put probably clamps on silver. There might be another badge you can put up. Actually, yeah, you want to put clamps on silver. And if you if you decide you know you're gonna play with a lockdown a lot, you can put it on rebound chaser and just go crash for boards if you're gonna be playing you know de defense corner. I mean corner corner defense. But other than that, you want to put up clamps. Now for the one finishing badge you get, you, I'm, you want to put on. I put on fancy footwork. Oh, I'm gonna put on fancy footwork. I don't have the badge yet, but fancy footwork it lets you get, you know, hop step, you no know, good hop step animations, it lets you jump like jump through your defenders. And you know, bronze might not be the best, but right now I have it on nothing. And I'm gonna get some good hop step animations and uh get into my opponent. So when I when I have it on bronze, it might be a little bit better and get some hop dunks. But that's basically it on my build. And now I'm going to show y'all, you know, I'm going to go to my build and show y'all. So y'all know I'm not, you know, just giving y'all anything. I'm going to show y'all my exact build and show y'all all the badges I have on my build. All right, so I'm on my build now. Y'all see I'm a 99 overall. And, you know, I had, like I said before, I had the plan to hit 99 overall before I made this build. So that's why I made the build this certain way that I did. And, you know, I'm going to show you the attributes. And a lot of, if y'all don't know, when you hit 99 overall, the attributes change. So that's why, you know. It'll be different from what I showed you at the beginning, but just you know, put minus four on everything I showed you, and it's about the same. It's I'm pretty sure everything's the same. Might be a little small thing that I missed, but for the most part, everything's the same. And 
now I'm gonna show you my badges. Now I don't have all my badges maxed out, but I'm gonna show you all my shooting badges. And when I'm playing, so the only reason I have corner on silver right now is because I was playing and um I was playing threes and I was helping somebody, you know, hit 99. So I was spotting up in the corner. But usually I have Tyler's on Tyler shoot on silver. And these are the best badges right here if y'all want to save these. Best shooting badges for uh for um for for sharps and even for play sharps these are the best shooting badges. You can't get all these badges, but these two right here are probably the most important shooting badges in the game. I put these two badges on and I literally started green in almost every shot. As y'all see, you y'all see me play, y'all see me green almost every shot. These are the two badges, the two secret badges that help you green everything. Green machine and hot zone hunter. Now, I don't have all my playmaking badges, but I got quick first step on gold and, and space creator on silver, on, on bronze, my fault. I don't have no um, finishing badge yet. Now for the defensive badge, the only reason I put this up was because I was playing, I think I was playing threes and I was playing with a center with no rebound chaser. So I had to go down there and grab the rebound myself. But when I get another upgrade, I'm going to take this off and put it on pick dodger. You know, like I told y'all before, pick dodger is a really important badge. Right now I'm playing without it. And, you know, I'm going to put it on whenever I get the last upgrade. But, you know, that's, that's everything about my build. Oh yeah, another secret. So y'all see how everything I got is plus four. Currently my overall, uh, let me see if I can show y'all. No, yeah, it just says I'm a, a one point info. So currently my overall is a 99.8. And basically when you hit 95, after you hit 95, every overall you go up, you get plus one to all your attributes. Like I said before, I'm a 99, so that's why I have plus four on everything. But it, when you hit 99, point nine that's the highest overall you can go up to 99.9 when you hit that overall you get plus five to all your attributes right now i'm at 99.8 so i don't have it i, I wish i would have screenshot it when i when i was 99.9 i showed you before but you get plus five to all your attributes so if you want to change anything up with my build and you know make it so it's plus five you know i'm just just remember that if you think you're gonna stay at 99.9 overall I, i'm gonna tell you now staying at 99.9 is not easy i'm currently at 99.8 but that's because I was, you know, helping somebody else hit 99 overall, so I wasn't, you know, scoring as much. But if you think you can stay consistently at a 99.9 .9 overall, and you want to make your your build around being a 99.9 .9 overall, so you have plus five, then go ahead and do that. Give you a little tip on that, and that's about it for you know my build video. And you know, you know, leave a like, subscribe.